when we come back, there'll be a new Prime Minister. We don't know who it's going to be. I mean, I, I don't want to disappoint you all, but is a chance it might not be Mike the Cameraman. <gasps> I know, I know, but he has such a, <laughs> had such an amazing story over this last series, from, from humble cameraman to people that the audience thought might actually be running for the leadership <laughs> campaign to the star of the show. It's been such a, such a rise that we think if he's not Prime Minister, it would make an amazing biopic. It would make an incredible, credible film. And seeing as we've got someone here who's played some of the greats, Blair, Clough, Frost, let's add... The cameraman. To that <laughs> list. So what we've done during the week, um, Roisin and Michael, we've we've written a bit of a what we think could be a lovely scene, possibly an early scene in Mike the cameraman's film. Um, I've got scripts here for you. If you would just like to come front and centre, uh, I'll I'll do the little voiceover that sets it all up. Um, here? But, you know, I just think that this could be. You, this, this could be huge. Here we go. This is Mike the cameraman biopic. Uh, uh, we open on a kitchen in Bromley. Uh, Mike is eating breakfast. His mum storms in with something behind her back. Michael, I just found this under your bed. What is this? It's... it's... it's a camera, Mum. <laughs> I know it's a camera, but what's it doing under your bed? Mum, there's something I need to tell you. <laughs> Listen, love, I'll support you in whatever it is you need to say. <laughs> I want to be a cameraman! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! I haven't been out every night with my mates, getting drunk and trying to pick up girls. <laughs> I've been out filming the woods at sunset. <laughs> in golden hour. <laughs> How dare you! In super slow-mo! <laughs> That's not even a thing! <laughs> Mum, I want to be a cameraman. You listen to me, young man. I tell you what you're going to be, the same as your dad and your dad's dad and your dad's 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 dad. Stop broker. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong, Mum. You're wrong. I don't look at life like you. I look at life like this. <laughs> <laughs> Through a lens. <laughs> Stop zooming in on me. <sighs> You'll see, Mum. <laughs> You'll see. One day, I'll make it big. I'll move to London and work on a hit-and-miss weekly satirical TV show. <laughs> and one day, one day, when they've run out of ideas, they'll start using me for material. <laughs> You'll see, you'll all see. They'll, then I'll start making the big bucks and I'll get too big for me boots and they'll fire me. But I won't find out until they do it in a sketch. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I won't care, cos everyone will know my name. I'm Mike, the cameraman! <laughs> Her afterwards, she was lovely. She's she, lovely. She's she great. said, Here's my card if you ever need a one legged stripper. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you got that card? <laughs> <laughs> what was great was watching Alex on the red carpet. This oh. girl went to me, um, Oh, Alex, can you sign this for me? And she went, Actually, can you sign this? <laughs>